Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly general tarot reading with me. My name is Brooke. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Pisces for the week of February 22nd to February 29th. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this video. Pisces, we kickstart off the week with a full moon in Virgo, and we end the week as well as the month on a leap year on the 29th, which is very fascinating. If there's any leap year Pisces babies out there, uh, happy birthday. I was almost a leap year baby. However, I thankfully wasn't. <laughs> Because that would be really strange. But anyway, Pisces, I've already pre-shuffled the cards for this reading. As usual, I'm going to lay out three cards for the reading this week. The first card that has come up is the Two of Wands, followed by the Two of Pentacles, and ending with the Knight of Swords. Interesting. We have a prominence of twos in the reading this week the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles side by side. When you see a prominence of numbers, especially coupled together, twos in particular are very much about balance, harmony, cooperation, and partnership, okay? Very much the theme for the week. The Two of Wands in particular can also be embarking on a new adventure or embarking on a new plan this week, especially with another person. This could be partnerships in business as well, cooperation as well, or working on a project with someone else, planning for the future. It's also essentially a waiting period as well. I don't see much action happening for Pisces until la the latter part of the week with the movement and direction of this night. The Two of Wands is very much about embarking on something new. You are essentially looking out at your future and waiting for these things to come to fruition. Very much about planning ahead and very much about embarking on something new for Pisces that may essentially lead Pisces going forward into something new, especially in the month of March, which is very interesting. Now the middle card, the Two of Pentacles, is very much about juggling either finances, juggling more than one job this week, juggling home, juggling school, very much a card of being busy, but also walking a tightrope as well, especially when it comes to money. Perhaps you're wanting to embark on a new journey of some kind, and, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, I've talked a lot today, so I'm a little froggy, um, and walking on a tightrope when it comes to juggling finances, and the message is, even though you may have to uh, essentially split resources or split money or give some money to pay this bill and give some money to pay that bill and you don't essentially have enough to possibly continue going forward on embarking on something new, that's where the waiting period comes in for Pisces. The Two of Pentacles is also a balancing act. Walking the tightrope this week for Pisces, trying to balance it all and trying to keep it together and maintaining that is the focus for Pisces. Because especially towards the latter part of the week for Pisces, when the Knight of Swords swoops in, uh, he's very much the drama queen of the Knights that I attribute to him as because he comes in and then he quickly exits out. So there may be some sort of drama associated with finances or embarking on something new, especially with another person. So it's some form of courageous action where your Pisces may get help out of the blue in a situation that may have conflict or drama. This night in particular, he's facing this way, so he's, he's not running from it. He's running in, essentially, to help Pisces this week on whatever may come down the road and to help fulfill cooperation and harmony. So yes, he's a bit of a drama queen because he's not afraid of it. He charges in, he's bold, he's courageous, he's coming in and he's going to exit quickly and it's going to somehow form 
a median or a barrier for Pisces not to fall apart. Because <laughs> you may be like, oh my God, you know, I can't, you know, I don't have enough resources to do this. I can't, I don't have enough finances this week to do this. You know, I got to wait for this. But essentially, this person or this event may come in that's going to kind of hold the ship together, Pisces, okay? So it's not going to sink. And it may seem like, it's like, what in the world? But it's coming in and may stir up a little bit of chaos at the time, but it's going to quickly exit and it's exiting for a reason. So this also could be a card indicating for many that there could possibly be a young person that's helping you as well. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. However, it does not have to be. The, the message is do not make any hasty decisions, Pisces, when it comes to money. You got a little extra change in your pocket? Don't, don't go out and get a pedicure, ladies, okay? I mean, really, I love a pedicure myself, but I know that, quite frankly, I have to put gas in the car. So it's that kind of situation. So just try not to make hasty decisions or sudden changes for the future because you're in a waiting period right now and you're walking a tightrope, Pisces, and we like to spend money because we like the finer things in life. So, you know... Try not to be too hasty when it comes to these things this week, Pisces. That's the message. So, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Have a great week, and I'll speak to you soon.